Okay, we've got another trailer in today. Apex by Coachman Ultralight. Not only is it light, it's ultralight. And that is reflected in all of the material used. So today's repair has to do with the water tank. Check it out. You can see the manufacturer has this piece of angle iron, thin wall, 120 gauge angle iron. It's like it's like a one and a half by one and a half. Run across there with two self-tapping sheet metal screws, one on each side, holding it up. And these water tanks get extremely heavy, as you know. And if you call the manufacturer, generally they'll tell you, yeah, we don't recommend you drive down the road with water in the tank. Which, yeah, yeah, that makes sense because water's super heavy and your construction of your trailer sucks. But that's sort of like saying, hey, you know, the car manufacturer here says, well, we put four doors on the car, but we recommend you don't use the back seat. Or, you know, hey, we put a trunk in the car, but we recommend you don't use it. It's just sort of nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here. We're going to block everything with some, some wet cloths. Make sure we don't light anything or burn any holes in anything. Checked up here. There's no wires touching, but we're going to just weld a plate on here with a screw with a bolt in it. And then we're going to run two cross members, one here and we're going to run one on the other side, up on the other perch hanger. And I think that'll fix the problem. The water tank is like from, from up here all the way to in front of that front axle. Okay, you can see we've got the captive nut on the back. This gets put right up there. And that's going to support the cross member that will run across the trailer. I just wanted to quick go over some of the things on these trailers. That's really a testament to the manufacturers quality control and work standards. I mean, look at look at this. What is this going on right here? I'd be embarrassed to let something like that come out of my shop. All right, there's a few other things I noticed too. Let's go look. Okay, look at this side support on here. You can see these are the angle supports that come up to the edge of the trailer from the main frame rail. But look at this one right here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Look at all this slag. So obviously somebody must have welded this on in the wrong order or in the wrong spot or something and they had to blow it out again and then re-weld it. Look at all the blow through from the plasma cutter on this side. And then they just left it there. So obviously someone messed up somewhere and then instead of fixing it correctly and making it so it looks like it didn't happen, they just left it like that. It's like they say, you know, a good portion of the battle is knowing how to fix your mistakes. And then this thin wall angle, which is what we are fixing, that came down and laid on top of the spring mount. All right, these are just held up with a regular old sheet metal self-tapper. That's just nuts to me. And look at this, you know, these rear bumpers. You've seen us do a few bumper repairs here, and we've actually got another one coming in here in the future for the exact same thing broken bumper but look at this look at this workmanship they I don't know if somebody cut this a little bit too short but they, they spliced in a three-quarter inch piece here all the way down look at that what the heck all the way to the bottom a three-quarter inch splice on that all right so you can see our finished product here we've got this in here all the way across the other side 
the other one is getting made right now on the saw and that one will run right there and we're all pushed back up into place okay and there you have it and you can see once we push that all back up into place the water tanks actually draining properly now and I do have to say that's the nicest fabrication that is on this trailer not to brag just the fabrication on the trailers that crummy